First things first, I just want to say that uh, I'm, there's people working on my roof right now and uh, there is a bunch of banging. You probably just heard it just a second ago, but we are here. I am one of the biggest Metal Gear Solid fans ever since I was a kid. I played the first one back in shit on the PlayStation 1. Obviously, I was uh, like six months old or something at the time, so I didn't obviously play it, but it was actually one of my first games that I can vividly remember actually playing was the Metal Gear series franchise. And I know this is kind of out of my element and I know I do like horror games and stuff like that, but this game I'm so passionate about because once I heard about this a while back ago, like a few months ago, that just was like leaked or like it was teased that it was going to be a reveal trailer for in the uh, the PlayStation reveal thing that they do every so often. I saw it all over Twitter. I didn't see any of the teaser trailers because I want to do it right here live. So uh, we are going to see how this is going to play out. I hope everything is situated. I cannot wait for this game to come out. There's actually no date yet or anything like that as far as I'm aware. But I know there's a lot of other stuff that is coming into uh, play as well that's gonna be coming out in the, over the course of either this year or next year and either way I'm so fucking hyped so we are going to play this right here and uh let's see what this uh trailer is going to reveal so this is not the actual gameplay okay I kind of assumed as much sorry if it's like a little blurry as well but okay it's a bunch of ants kind of a uh, an interesting chorus of uh metal gear solid i guess you could say there's a poison dart frog oh shit turn this up just a little bit more all right chilling on the log cool this is so nice so far besides like a little tr a teaser oh is that a crocodile oh it was a st fuck what the hell is this is this arc <laughs> man that was kind of cinematic in a way Oh, a snake's a snake somewhere in the shadows. Oh my god. Bro, he looks so crisp. Oh, dude. Dude. I just got goosebumps here in that man. I haven't heard that song in so long. What a With and dude, I Dude, bro, what a thrill. <laughs> coming to PS5. So there's a thing too. Okay, so it's over. Um, wow, dude. So here's what I was. Here's my my immediate thoughts is that I hope that and I saw a lot of stuff on Twitter and all over social media and all over websites and everything that um, this game is going to be an exact, you know, replica of the uh, PlayStation 2 back in, I think it's 2003 or 2004 that, that Snake Eater came out, that this game is going to be exactly like the way it was, is just going to be major and I think minimal tweaks in the game as well. It's kind of what they did with Resident Evil 4 and what they did with Dead Space 3 Master. They're just revamping the game and they're just making it it, it, we haven't had a Metal Gear Solid game in so long. I think the last one that we really had, if you really even count this a Metal Gear game, was the uh, Metal Gear Survive. If you guys remember that back in, I don't know, I think it was like 2016, 2017, something like that. That shithole of a game, which has further diminished the whole Metal Gear franchise. And the whole thing with Ka with Kojima, I'm actually really surprised that they actually got greenlit to make a remaster or a remake of this game. And I'm happy that they start back at where the war officially started back in Snake Eater. And I hope that they eventually do remaster um, at least one and two. So like the first Metal Gear that came out on the PlayStation and then Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. This is actually super amazing. I cannot wait because I also saw that it's also going to be on the PlayStation 5 
Xbox and on Steam as well. So either way, everybody's going to have a great time playing this because there's people who have never even played a Metal Gear Solid game before because of how old they are. They either only played at best, maybe even saw Metal Gear Solid 4 or even Metal Gear Solid 5 or even Rising Revengeance. So with this game that's coming out, a lot of people are going to want to go back to the older games and we're going to wait for the remaster of those games to play it because dude, this game is so iconic that not a lot of people have played any of it like the newer generation now. This is a pinnacle of the gaming franchise, and it all started back in 99. Snake Eater was just a profound favorite because of the soundtrack and just the overall story. And if they do come out with a Metal Gear Solid 4 remake, bring back Metal Gear Online. <laughs> but that is it. Uh, I just wanted to react to this and just put on my channel because I am just so passionate about this game. It holds near and dear to my heart, and I just want to say that this once this game comes out, day one, I don't care what the hell I'm doing, besides if I'm at work or something, I will be live streaming this game probably until I beat it and just be doing a stupid amount of stuff in this game because whether or not people watch it or not, I'm just so passionate that I just want this game to be a lot of people just watching it. This is just my initial reaction, just off the cuff. Like I don't have anything written or anything like that, but this game, I cannot wait. And if you guys are excited about this game too, make sure you guys like this video and comment what is your favorite Metal Gear game that you have played? Because I'm really interested to know I've played basically every single Metal Gear Solid game and I... I love all of them. Metal Gear Solid 2 is my personal favorite. The Sons of Liberty, I played so much of it as a kid. So I really want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and my initial reactions on this game. I'll be seeing you guys when this game comes out. If you guys are brand new around these parts and you guys like horror games, I play horror games basically every single time I upload besides this one. <laughs> if you guys do, make sure to subscribe down below. It really helps out the channel. And also helps the channel to grow as well. As our audience is growing bigger and bigger, we're actually very close to 600 subscribers. Just one step will get us very close. Stay safe, be responsible, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out.